the best spy gadgets in espionage history. Dog poop that is actually a spy gadget? Let's find out. Spies have utilized clever tools throughout modern history to obtain information, avoid detection, and cause harm. Undoubtedly, the life of a spy has been glamorized and exaggerated in Hollywood films. However, over the 20th century, security agencies like MI6 and the KGB toiled to create ever more evasive and inventive devices for their operatives. For today's video, we are going to be talking about the best spy gadgets in espionage history. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Dog Poop Transmitter, circa 1970. First, up on our list, we have something that's rather funny, but equally genius. I mean, you would have thought that some random pile of poo lying around is actually a spying device? Whoever thought of this is an incredibly smart thinker. This device was issued by the CIA during the 1970s and transmitted a radio signal to coordinate airstrikes and reconnaissance. That KGB issued shoe may feel like something from an old spy film, but it serves as a reminder of the Cold War's reality and the numerous technological advancements made possible by espionage. Agents recorded and saw private talks using the transmitter in the shoe. The target's shoes were equipped with batteries and a microphone, turning them into walking radio stations for onlookers. Remote-controlled insects. Next up, we have remote-controlled insects, the Insectithopter. A remote-controlled imitation dragon flea created by the CIA to covertly record discussions of interest made its debut in 1974. The device had several limits, though. It included a tiny gas engine that could run for only a few minutes. The gadget was never deployed on a mission because it was too bulky even in mild winds. However, the Insectithopter demonstrated that unmanned flying vehicles might really be employed for data collection. Indeed, reconnaissance would increasingly rely on aerial intelligence gathering devices particularly with the development of powerful drones, untraceable letter-opening devices. The next item on our list is the untraceable letter-opening devices. In order to read mail without the recipient's knowledge during World War II, agents developed untraceable letter-opening equipment. You would slide a thin bar through the little gap at the top of an envelope fold. The top of the letter would then be grabbed by pincers. The letter would be wound around the metal bar while the machine rotated. The letter would then be wrapped securely around the bar before being carefully removed from the envelope. The letter would again be put into the envelope flap and unwound once its contents had been read or copied. There would be no damage to the envelope, and perhaps the receiver wouldn't be aware that the contents were compromised. Suitcase Transceivers Next up on our list, we have the Suitcase Transceivers. The Standards Align System and MI6 both embraced the technique when the Special Communications Unit of the United Kingdom created a message transmitter that looked like a suitcase, the MK-123, as the gadget was formally designated, could transmit and receive messages from anywhere in the world. When Iranian protesters assaulted and set fire to the British Embassy in Tehran in November 1978, the MK-123 was put to use. Despite the loss of power, an embassy representative used an MK-123 cover device to inform the British authorities about the incident. Up until the 1980s, the device was a favorite among British security and intelligence organizations. Lipstick Pistols The next spy gadget on our list is rather interesting, pistols disguised in lipstick tubes. At a checkpoint in West Berlin in 1965, American authorities detained and searched a suspicious man. A plain lipstick holder was discovered on the suspect. When the case was opened, a hidden 4.5mm handgun could fire one. The 177 caliber bullet could be seen. The Kiss of Death, named weapon, is currently on display at the International Spy Museum in Washington, D.C. Throughout the Cold War, KGB-affiliated spies employed cover weapons like the lipstick pistol. Wristwatch Cameras Next up on our list, we have something that seems very ahead of its time. Apple wasn't the first company to think of cameras mounted on a wristwatch. It was actually first thought by Germans. West German scientists created a tiny camera that looked like a wristwatch in the late 1940s. Anyway, this wraps up our video for today. What do you think about this? 
Let us know in the comments section down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it.